Hey guys, Isaac here. Welcome back, and um, today it's going to be another playthrough video of one of my games. This time we are taking a look at the best shooting game for my console, which is Nerf. Now, Nerf has a fully-fledged multiplayer experience, um, a fully-fledged survival robot ladder experience, and a not-so-fully-fledged campaign experience, but um, I'm going to be doing exactly what I did with Star Wars. I'm not going to be overviewing the game. I'm not going to be skipping pages, talking about the game. I'm going to be grabbing my wireless controller, and I'm going to be playing the game for you guys, but this game is much different from Star Wars because Star Wars all it had was dual mode and story mode and I played I just played through the story mode in the, in the video but um for nerf all three of the modes in this game are significant the biggest one being multiplayer which is a huge huge experience and I'm not sure I kind of emphasized it to you guys as much as I should have how big the multiplayer experience is in nerf and how it's actually playable and how fun the actual survival robot ladder mode can actually be if you play it the correct way but um as you guys see what I didn't talk about right here is the campaign mode which is really really under par or sub Subpar. I don't really know how to say it, but what I'm trying to say is that it's really not that good of a mode because some shooting games that I showed you guys, World War, well, that I haven't showed you guys, World War II, World War II Vietnam, Mission 1, Mission 1 Red Alert, and Mission 1 Mission End, and I'm pretty sure, and Intense, those are all, and Invasion, geez, those are all my shooting games, I swear I'm probably forgetting one of them. But this one's definitely the best one. Um, and then let's just jump into the playthrough here. Today, part one, we're going to be starting with the campaign. And then part two, we're going to be doing Robot Ladder. And then part three, I'm going to be showing you guys the big meat of the game. The part that I, I didn't really emphasize to you guys that much, which is the multiplayer. And let's just go. Alrighty guys, here we are, and this is Nerf, as you guys remember from the overview, and now this game is pretty much very, is a, is a very long game, is what I meant to say, and we're just going to jump into the campaign here in part one, which is literally the last part of the game that I did, which is the part of the game that I didn't really put that much effort into. I put the effort in this game into the robot ladder and multiplayer modes, which is going to be extremely evident, as you guys are going to see see the campaign is not garbage but it is not up to par with any of my other um adventure kind of shooting games but um the multiplayer definitely blasts them all out of the water but we're not going to be taking a look at that today we are going to be taking a look at the campaign mode now i do have my system because this is a playthrough i do have the cd because this is a playthrough and i do have the character pouch already and what I have here is a wired controller and the wireless controller, which we are going to be using for today because it's just easier to use. Alrighty, so we're just going to plug this thing in, this little cartridge, if I could get the thing out. <laughs> we're going to just plug that in and we're going to click A to just jump right into this game. Alright, so we got the new game load game screen and of course we're going to, whoa, uh, I would hold my own controller backwards. We're going to click new game there. And here's the game mode. You guys remember the game mode selection screen. If you want me to go more in depth on what all this is, just check out my Nerf overview video because that I kind of really go through in depth on all these five modes. All right. So for the campaign, we have to turn 60 pages to get to. You, you guys know I like to put how many pages you have to turn really conveniently over here. So I'm going to click campaign. And in the other parts, we'll do multiplayer and robot ladder. So if we click, click, sorry, campaign there, turn 60 pages. Here's a little bit of multiplayer for you guys. This is not going to happen yet, however. And here we are in the campaign. Okay. So it says select difficulty, easy, normal, or hard, or jolt, night finder, and maverick. Um, a little, uh, if you guys know about Nerf, a little bit of, um, uh, a, a, 
oh my god, I can't even speak, a little bit of information about me in case you guys are interested. The Maverick is actually my favorite nerf weapon in case you guys know what nerf is, what the guns are. In case you guys are a little interested, Maverick is actually my favorite nerf weapon. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and select the easiest difficulty just so it is easy. Of course, I could kind of go through this a little slowly for you guys. And you have this at the bottom here to continue to chapter one chapter two i haven't put those in my games yet and i didn't put that in star wars even though this game is a little bit before star wars i think it's the game before it i didn't do that with star wars but uh it doesn't really matter we're gonna jump into easy here and jump into the campaign mode Alrighty, it says at the top i never knew i'll live to see the day so here's the big kind of opening screen here. You have our main character that we're going to be playing at at the bottom, and you have this whole city destroyed. We turn the page here. It says an IPGS game, so I'm trying to do that cinematic opening, how this guy, your main character, is already in trouble with blood all over his face, already buildings on fire, and then you have an IPGS game written, drawn, and created by Isaac Cruz. You guys know that, and then we're going to go jump into here. So at the top, is, we found out that we find out, sorry, that our character's name is Zach, and it says my parents always wanted, warned me about a robot invasion. I just never listened. I can swear they told me there was a thing, something I'll be able to use to protect myself. I just don't know where. All right, so you guys see the plot of chapter one here. We're gonna have to find a weapon to defend ourselves against these robots. So it says chapter one. The Invasion Preparation. Are you ready? Yes or no? Yes, so it's looking pretty good here, the campaign. But I'll show you guys how it kind of goes downhill towards the end of the campaign. Alright, so at the bottom of the screen, it says, now all I got to do is find it. And you guys might notice that my games, it's like this is kind of how parkour was. How it's um kind of vertical instead of horizontal. And this is interesting because this is not new to me, but it might be new to you guys because I have not shown you any of my shooting games, but all my shooting games all have the same exact layout like this. They're not like um, horizontal, they're vertical, sorry. They're like this vertical. Uh, hopefully this is vertical too. Oh my god, this is, they're like this vertical. And um, I just, I, I should show you guys more of my shooting games. They're not really good. Um, to say the least, but they are. I should still show you guys them. I might do that in a later video. So it says, I, all I gotta do is find it. So we're gonna walk up. It says, up to move forward. No character here just yet. At the top it says, should be around here. And then it says, click the right directional pad to turn right. And click the left directional pad to turn left. So we're gonna go up here. And we're going to hit the right one to obviously turn right. And we are now here. And it says, this is weird. It's open. So it's a box here. So I wonder what this is. We're going to walk up. And it says on the box, for Zach, do not open. So it says, for Zach, do not open. So obviously the most logical thing to do is to open it. <laughs> because everything that says do not open, you're going to want to open. Alrighty, so we open the box. And it's, Zach says, whoa, a maverick. My parents always warned me about this weapon. I guess I must defend myself with it. So here you are, the first gun that you have to use in the game. You guys like to know that I like to put a lot of detail into the weapons, into the guns in this game. As I, as I should show you the character pouch one day, it, every single gun is detailed. Alrighty, so now I just got to find the Maverick in this gigantic character pouch filled with weapons. So I'm going to cut the video so you guys don't have to wait so long. So I'll be right back. Alrighty guys, here we are. It took me 50 quadrillion years, but I finally found the little Maverick. Um, you could tell us the Maverick, even if you don't know your Nerf guns. It says it right on the back. And as you can see here, this is the Nerf Maverick character. And you would just plop that there like a first person shooter. And it says uh, B to aim, sorry, and A to shoot. So we're going to go here. Oh, sorry, we're right here. So we're going to go to the side here. Oh, whoops, did something wrong there. Forgot to read this. It says, now, I at least have to learn how to operate this thing. I guess I'll shoot the box. 
So then we're supposed to press B to aim. Whoops, sorry, B to aim. So we're gonna drop the aim right there and then click A to blast that. And then boom, when you turn the page, there's a little hole with a dart seeing that you shot the box. So it's a pretty cool effect there. And then it says, whoa, I guess I better look outside to see if I can help with this invasion. Well, here goes nothing. So here we're going to step outside into the real world here trying to see this invasion. And it says Z, whoa, what happened to our voice there? Z to jump and C to reload. Jeez. All right, so we're going to keep on walking here. And we're going to click Z geez, to jump over the box. And we're going to click C to reload real quick. So we have all our bullets. And we're going to keep walking. We're just going to keep on walking to the right here. Whoa. Keep on walking to the right. This character, this Maverick thing is so small. All right, we're going to keep walking here. And it says A to exit the house, so we're going to click A. And now we are exit, we are, we just have exited the house, and you are looking at the burning destruction that is this city that is getting invaded. And Zach is saying, what a mess here. So we're going to walk up. And if you guys notice something, the campaign is almost over. And guess how many things we've shot? Not one, not two, not three, but a box. <laughs> I mean, that is one of the huge problems with this campaign mode. As you guys can see, you see that the gunplay works, but it just works so much better in robot ladder and in multiplayer that the campaign doesn't really show off what it can do. Zach says, geez, what's wrong with this guy? This guy looks like an infected person from this robot invasion saying hey hey so we have to press a here to talk to this mad man I'm gonna click a and there's a huge page of dialogue here you say what's up he says what's up you don't know do you the robots they're back they got my wife man and then you say Sorry, man. And then he says, sorry. You're kidding me. Sorry? That's all you got to say? Then he starts crying, and he says, I hate this, man. I can kill everyone here. What does it matter? And so you see this guy is going a little nuts here. So you say, sorry, man. I didn't mean to offend you. You need a drink, some food or something? And then he says, food. Yeah, food, you know. I should go and get food, shouldn't I? So this guy is really kind of creeping you out. So you say, you want some? You know, just offering the guy. And he says, I want some. Yeah, I want some food. Real nice meat. Skin. So you guys, you see, he's, he's a crazy guy. And then, he's, then you say, skin. Wait, you aren't saying. And then he says, yes, I am. I am. He screams. And at the top, we have an objective. It says, shoot him. Then he says, come here. So we're going to click B to aim right over his head. And we're going to click A to shoot him right there before that guy kills us. And boom, it goes right there. And he says, I'll get you one day. No, they'll get you. The robots, they'll kill you. Just you wait. Oh, look. Looks like they're here, and he coughs. So if I zoom up here, you see the guy is dead. It's a really creepy-looking um, drawing, a creepy game, the campaign. The, the overall game is not really creepy, but the campaign is kind of. So it says, Chapter 1, Clear. Chapter 2, Robot Encounter. Are you ready? Yes or no? So you can click Yes there. Alrighty. And Zach says, Wow, what was the deal with that guy? I don't even see robots. It says, meanwhile, Zach is walking in another part of the broken down city. So we're going to keep walking. And we're going to click, what was it, Z to jump? And we're going to keep walking. So as you guys can see, the problem is there is no actually like people are here and you just shoot them. There is none of that. It's It's a weird shooting game like... The multiplayer, the robot ladder, they're so much, they're much better made, like they're, I don't know if I said that right, like it's just better made, the multiplayer and the robot ladder, compared to the campaign, which is kind of just added on, as you guys can see, it's not that good, I mean it has its moments, it has that nice cutscene there, but it just, it, it doesn't live up, you know. 
Um, I can't wait to show you guys the robot ladder in my next video because that really shows off all the different guns, the robots, what this game could do. Right, so we are here, and and this girl is getting choked by the robot. He says, "Help! It's ch it, he's choking me." So as you can see, all right, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna aim at this guy's head, and I'm gonna sh shoot it with A. All right, the head comes straight off, and he says, "Activating laser, restoring hardware." So this robot's getting ready to pounce, probably. You guys can see the detail on the robot. It's not a rushed um, game. It's just the campaign is rushed. All right, so he shot this big thing, and it says um, down to duck, and we're going to click down. Obviously, I waited too long, but we are on easy, so we ducked that thing right there. And then Zach says that was a close one. And Zach says, I guess this stuff is just too dangerous, even with a Maverick. God, how does Andy do it? And then that is the end of the game, guys. It's a very abrupt end. You wouldn't think that would be the end to the campaign. Just when it was starting to get any good, it just cuts it off. I, I bring in that little joke there, even with the Maverick. God, how does Andy do it? In case you guys forgot, Andy is the character from Ariana. The guy leaps on buildings, shoots bad guys, fights people. So I add in that little joke that Zach says, God, how does Andy do it? But that little joke is not going to make up for what the campaign was was um it, it was no good i mean that's it i wasn't joking you guys when i said that this campaign was no good in nerf very rushed um but a little bit of good news before i end this video off um Nerf 2 is going to be coming out extremely soon, and it's going to have the same great multiplayer and the same robot ladder mode that you're going to see in this game that I haven't showed you guys full gameplay yet. If you guys want to see a little clip of the multiplayer, the robot ladder, check out my overview. I do show you a little bit of gameplay of it, but I'm not, I don't show you as much as I will show you soon when I'm, um, when I show you the actual me playing through, um, the multiplayer and the robot ladder. But yeah, the little bit of good news is that Nerf 2 is coming out very soon. Um, it's going to overpass this um, game by a lot, obviously, because that releases to you guys that Nerf 2 is going to be one of the last 11 games for my console before I um, like uh, kind of end it off. So I guess this is it for now, guys. Don't get discouraged about Nerf. If some of you guys seen the overview, you know what this game actually is. That campaign is a little bit bit of a yeah it is kind of sucky is the right word but you guys will see what this game really is capable of in nerf in nerf and the multiplayer and the robot ladder so i'll see you guys later thanks for watching bye